This week in Jamaica now, noxious fumes affect staff at Central Sorting Office at the Post and Telecoms Department. Father kills children and then commits suicide in Trelawney. Government to amend NHD Act to allow it to take $45 billion from the trust. And NDX extension closes. The details after the break. It's a brand new program with a brand new feel. I think food makes people happy. This is Lifestyle Today. I'm Heather Cummings and this is Jamaica Now. More than 600 people had to be evacuated from the central sorting office of the Post and Telecoms Department in Kingston on Thursday after noxious fumes contaminated the air. The police say approximately 60 persons, including students, experienced respiratory problems and had to be taken to hospital for treatment. Six schools in the area had to suspend classes. It is reported that sometime after 11 o'clock on Thursday morning, staff members at the central sorting office became suspicious after detecting an unusual scent in the building, especially on the first floor. After staff members became ill, an alarm was raised and the building evacuated. We captured the anxiety at the scene. It is concentrated on the entire area outside here, on the compound of the post office, especially when the breeze blow and outside. <laughs> The community of Woodgrove near Waitabit in Trelawney was plunged into shock on Tuesday after a father stabbed his two children to death, then committed suicide. Two-year-old Kimokoya Mullings, also known as Trisan, and four-year-old Kale Mullings, also called Tessan, were killed about two o'clock in the morning. Their father, 34-year-old Kenville Mullings, then hanged himself. Mullings carried out the axe following a dispute with his common-law wife, who moved out of the house and refused to return. One of Mullings' relatives says the family has been having it hard coping. Everybody born and grew up in the same area. We know him, Bronx Command. We know, we know him as no, like, terrible person or bad person. We just know him as cool like you. Take your and pick them, carry them to school, carry them home. So eventually we don't know what happened between him and him. Give him mother. We can't believe, I know we can't come to because as somebody will love him into that very much to in their heart. The family mash up over here, man. Everybody can testify he was such a nice. That's why everybody cried this morning. And this week, a manhunt was launched for ex-Jamaica Defense Force soldier Jason Price, who allegedly shot and injured his common-law wife, then killed her mother in Ballads River Clarendon. The dead woman has been identified as Maxine Farron. The injured woman, Tamara Ferron, was hospitalized after reportedly receiving nine gunshot wounds. Calvin Ferron, the father and husband of the women, said the incident could have been prevented had the police responded to calls for help. Finance Minister Dr. Peter Phillips has given formal notice that he will be bringing to Parliament a bill to amend the National Housing Trust NHT Act. The changes will allow the government to legally take $45 billion from the trust for budgetary support. The move is aimed at counteracting a suit filed by Lobby Group Citizens Action for Principle and Integrity, which is arguing that the government's move is illegal. Minister with Responsibility for Information, Senator Sandra Faulkner, and Attorney General Patrick Atkinson on Wednesday insisted that the proposed amendments are not an admission that the government was wrong from the outset. Instead, they asserted that the proposed changes are being undertaken to ensure that the pending legal action does not derail the country's economic programs. In the meantime, the government's one-week extension of the National Debt Exchange Offer, NDX, ended on Thursday. The successful implementation of the NDX is critical for the government to get board-level approval for the loan it is seeking from the International Monetary Fund. Last week, the government announced the extension to allow more bondholders time to take up the offer. At that time, the Finance Ministry reported that the debt exchange offer had received 97% support from bondholders. The NDX, which is a swap of existing bonds for others with lower interest rates and longer repayment periods, will see the government saving billions of dollars. 
The Jamaican dollar reached a new record high this week, passing the $97 mark. Between Monday and Wednesday, the Jamaican dollar lost a total of 31 cents in value. On Monday, trading closed with the dollar selling for $96.81. And that's it for this edition of Jamaica Now, your weekly review of the big news stories. Please continue to share your thoughts with us at online feedback at gleanerjm.com. Tune in to Power 106 FM for regular updates. Follow us on Twitter at Jamaica Gleaner and on Facebook at Gleaner Jamaica. I'm Heather Cummings, inviting you to join us again for another edition of Jamaica Now. And as we go, we bring you the images of Jamaica Day 2013.